This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Here's a new concept to you that I've just, to you, to me, uh, that I just wanted to chat you through. The idea is taking our pentatonics and making them into a bigger shape, three note per string, and seeing where we can go from there. I want to show you this idea up here. We're going to use D minor as our, our kind of framework for this one. So our normal D minor pentatonic might look like this. I'm sure you're familiar with that, hopefully. got another shape next to it right the major pentatonic which would be starting on F here you'll notice that there's one note in the middle of all that that is shared and what I want you to do is imagine that you're kind of going to join these kind of two boxes up and you get this okay Right, and then figure this out over the rest of these shapes. Uh, this could take quite a while if you're not familiar with these, but we've got this major shape, and then this one here, like the third, so we could go. This is really good practice, incidentally, for visualizing your pentatonic all over the neck. Big stretchy stuff there. Then we got one more here. And one more here. So, start off with, figure those kind of shapes out a bit. So slowly. Shape two. And then another one here.
the last one. If you've ever watched one of my legato videos before, you might have noticed that I sometimes talk about permutations. And in which case we'd be talking about things that go sort of like this, like one, three, two, 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 one, three, two. And so you get these things where we're applying like uh, uh, the same pattern on each string. So you can take that kind of concept around this. sound. Then the next thing that I was thinking that I might do, and this is what I was doing in the introduction, a mixture of these ideas, this. So we're going to start at the highest part of our pattern and come down three, two, one, and then land in the middle on the next string of our pattern. That's my pizza ready. You would get this. So that's our first one. So we're going to descend all the way down. And then we're going to jump back up to this part of the pattern. So our first kind of part. And that will be our pattern. So three, two, one, two, one, three, two, one. sound so but I was really excited about that as a concept I'll put together a backing track and also a bunch of exercises for this kind of thing but that's the idea we're gonna play three note per string pentatonic kind of shapes which have these cool stretches in them and then take permutations to make these really wide sounding lines sound let me know if you've heard anyone else do that before I'm not sure that I've experienced too much of this sort of thing I'm kind of picking up, down, up, down, up. Give that a try. I thought that sounded pretty cool and I was enjoying the sound of it. I hope you do too. Patreon will be the place to grab the tab and the backing track. I'm going to practice this now, Sunday evening, but you'll be seeing this tomorrow morning, I hope. Um, yeah, let me know how you get on with these wider stretch things. If you want to move it up a key or two, uh, or move this around the fretboard and find the shapes that are a bit more comfortable in case you're not super wide stretchy, um, then that's totally cool too, obviously. <laughs>